Hey there YouTubers. So I'm making a video here to show you the proper use of the Sofa Baton Universal Remote with programming extension for Roku. So many of you have the simple Roku controller such as this one. Uh, this one works with my Ultimate uh, 4K one. And we're going to do a couple things. So we're going to get this controller to run the TV set, it's the LG 4K TV, and to be able to turn on my Sony um, surround sound receiver. So, let me uh, take this back out of the box. Right. So, this is kind of an unboxing video again. Um, I bought two of these. We already did an unboxing video on the other one, but uh, this guy is uh, down for down in the basement, and uh, this controller is going to be awesome because I pretty much find myself um, having to search for three or four controllers, um, including the. Uh, 4K Blu-ray player, so I'm going to uh, just program this for the. Uh, I put that on the right way, hopefully. Okay, so we got this thing on. Okay, snapped in. All right, so to get this thing to go to go into the functionality, you have to hold this down for three seconds. Okay, that lights up. Now, what you want to do is figure out what button on here you want to program. So we're going to make the TV set um, this power button. Okay, so I hit that button. It'll start to blink, then I come over here and I hit this button until we see it turn green. So boom, that's done. Now all we have to do is click on this and it is, uh, should be ready to go. Okay, sorry. So, clicked on that again, and uh, it went away. So, let me go test this real quick. Okay, so it did indeed uh, turn on the TV set. Now, you'll notice there's no um, voodoo button here. So, if I want to add a voodoo button, I take my controller, and I'm going to make it A on here. So we're going to hold that in again, three seconds. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click the A button so it'll start blinking. Then on the Roku controller, I'm going to hit the Voodoo button. You see it turned green. So we are good to go. And to get out of this, I hit the red power button and the mute button. All right, so now we've got that situated. Now, the stereo. Now, stereo, we're going to do two things with it. One, we're going to get it to power on, but we also want to use it for volume. Okay? So, once again, hold that in three seconds or so. Boom. Now I'm going to hit the blue button. It starts to blink. Hit the power button, and that's locked and loaded, folks. Ready to go. Now to get out, once again, we hit those two buttons. Sometimes it doesn't work perfectly for whatever reason. All right. So sometimes you gotta hold them in harder than I'm doing, just tapping on it. All right. 
Um, so let's do the volume control. So you have to do both up and down separately. So let's do this again. One, two, three. There it is. Now I want to hit the up button. And I'm going to go over to my controller for master volume. Hit that. And you saw it turn green momentarily. So that has accepted it. And boom. Okay. So let's do, we got to do volume down. Okay. Hit the volume down button. Come over here. Hit the master volume down. Turn green. Good to go. Now I could make B um, power up my LG 4K Blue Player player. I might as well do that. Just so I can have pretty much all my devices able to uh, run off one remote here. Hit this again, three seconds. Okay. We're gonna hit the B button this time. Then I'm gonna come over here, hit the power button. It's locked and loaded. All right, so now let's go um, take this over to the uh, setup and so you can see all the buttons work. All right, folks, so really the reason why I did this video is I found the directions to be a little confusing and uh, hopefully that helped with what I just did. That was the main reason for doing the video. All right, folks, so here's our uh, setup down here in the basement. And see, red button. Should turn on the TV set. Hopefully. There we go. Sometimes you got to press these buttons a little harder. Um, stereo. Now, if you watch down there, we should see the volume change. See that? Volume is changing as I click the button. Go back. Uh, let's see. B button for the 4K. Looks like I already turned it on. Unbeknownst to me. So I might have to go back and reprogram that one. Well, actually, you can see it. It just changed. There we go. Okay, so the B button is working. Now if I hit the A button, should go to um, Voodoo on here. And it does. Check that out. There's Voodoo. So that's how you use this device, folks. Um, not too difficult. But uh, if you have problems with the uh, directions, hopefully this video helped. Thanks.